Hey everybody, it's friend Sarmade here, and we're back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. Our caravan is just rolling up into the town here. We sold some of our iron tools and some peas, and we are bringing back enough goods, hopefully, to get our bathhouse created. So now we have the bedding sets, and we should be good on planks, and we're just waiting for our cut stones to be processed. So right now we only have the one masonry workshop right here, and uh, Imra is working hard to process our stone into cut stone. So we're getting there with that, looking good. And look at all these trees that have popped up, and then look at our stock on timber. So it looks like, for now anyways, we have enough wood coming in, uh, and that's just fantastic. We haven't really been building a whole lot, so you know that always goes into it a little bit. Food, look at this graph. So we have uh, just a little bit of margin there, where we are producing more food than we are consuming, which is just, just what I want. We're looking great on that. And then if we go ahead and let's look at uh, let's look at that wood here. So let's go raw materials and then we'll say timber and we'll say add. Yeah, we're producing a good chunk more than we are consuming. So that's also fantastic. The biggest problem we're currently having is fuel. Uh, but with this wood coming in, as you can see, that is reflected here. Uh, we should be able to produce enough fuel. And since the caravan got back, we are back up to seven laborers. So most people came back, which is just perfect. Now we will be able to assign some things. So at the end of the last episode, we were working on our reed fields, currently at 154 reeds stocked up. So if we look at our uh, technologies here, we're working on reeds, so we got that. We're trying to get over to paper. Paper is what I'm kind of focusing on right now. We get paper, that means we can get education efficiency, which is going to increase the rate by 100%, and the output of tech experience increased by 150. So a very powerful thing, we wanna grab that for sure. And then, of course, we can start moving into books, which is going to further increase our speed of our research academies and institutes. So very, very good thing we're working on over in here. So right now we have one point. I'm going to go into paper right now because we might as well. But if you look down over in here, we need more planks. We need some more stone and we need some more iron ore. So we got the technology. That's great. But we're, we're still working on some other things. So processing. We also have the knitting workshop that we got, but we didn't get anything built with the knitting workshop yet. We do have our little area right in here where we have the reeds coming in. And uh, let's see how far down this goes. So it looks like the edge of the radius comes to be about right in here. So let's go ahead, we'll just kind of mark this off uh, using this little technique that I do right in here. Uh, so that's the edge of the circle. So we know we can build homes in here, uh, but nothing else really. But now we know we're gonna go back to our knitting workshop and we could start putting things in here. But look at this nice flat area on the river. I'm not gonna utilize that. So we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna start filling these in a little bit. So these are three wide. These are kind of weird buildings. So let's go like this. I will do double stack, but let's only work on the one for now. And uh, we'll get that in, we'll get the road going, and this kind of crisscross a little bit of the roads. So what I was thinking, uh, we have this one uh, forest farm up here, and it kind of looks a little bizarre, I think. We can go a little bit further with our houses in this corner, uh, but we could also fill in a couple more forest farms up here. But I was also thinking we can come over in here with some forest farms as well. So we've got a couple of good spots where we can start to make some more wood over in here. Uh, but we're going to have to start working our way in this direction or down eventually here. So we don't want to cram all of our wood production stuff like way back up in here. That's kind of why I was thinking. Let's go over here and share the burden a little bit here. So what are we looking at for our clay stockpile right now? 275. Not bad because we're looking okay with wood. So I was asking about clay because we can go ahead and do forest farms. But since we're looking okay with wood, I think we will just hold off on that for now. But we have a good plan. So we're going to go ahead. We'll go over in here. Let's add one more worker to our pasture here since we have some alpaca now that we have to take care of. And that's going to bring us to five laborers. We're going to go ahead and put somebody in the repair shop. Only, only need one person there for now. And now we're looking pretty good. Okay, so we have our textile mill up and running. So we got flax going, we got some linen, and we were gonna talk about our clothing situation, which looks like has been more or less resolved, producing lots of clothes in the last year. So that's also looking fantastic. And it uh, looks like we're uh, just kind of hurting on stone a little bit here. So we we need to start working down the happiness tree right in here, and we need to continue to work down the health tree as well. So important pieces we don't wanna forget, uh, but what we're kind of thinking about doing Besides the stuff that we were just talking about, let's get some paper stock going before we get education efficiency because we're going to utilize that paper for that stuff. 
So I'm gonna hold up on getting that point, but over in here, we're gonna need the calcining kiln, we're gonna need the refined fuel, and then we're gonna need to get our mines going and our quarries going. So these pieces up in here, these are important right now in the early game. As you can see, we're red on our stone. So let's see if there's anything else around here. So we have to go way over in here, and we know that. We've been doing that in the last couple of episodes, of course. Let's go ahead, we'll mark a little bit. Yeah, I'll mark a little bit. But we wanna start doing something that's a little bit more close, I think, as that's quite the walk. There really isn't anything that much closer. And we will have to complete the bridge. So um, let's see what we got for our bathhouse. Bathhouse is completed. So let's turn the bridge back on, get this thing built up, and then we'll check that out. So bathhouse, this is great. We needed this, gonna help with our health around the town here. Uh, you can see medicinal soap and salt soap, some things that we need. But we have to work on that, but we can't quite get to the soaps just yet. Uh, the other thing that I was kind of thinking about when we had some people here, we're already down to three uh, laborers, is getting into the sawmill here and getting our domestic fuel production up a little bit more. Uh, we are doing okay right now, but it's the middle of summertime, so it makes kind of sense that we wouldn't be heating right now. So we need to get that up a little bit more now that we have timber figured out a little bit better. So that's another goal we need to work on. Our knitting workshop is good to go. And I think what we'll do, let's go over in here, take a peek at our logistics. And this was another reason why I wanted to go for the reeds because we have baskets here so baskets are going to increase the carry weight by plus 50 which is i mean that's pretty helpful that's less trips so let's go ahead and we'll get that and then the next thing that's super easy packet expansion increases carrying weight by 80 it's just a passive very very good so a couple little things there for our logistics we want to get those things uh not forgotten about uh, as well as all these other little things that we're trying to do you got to do everything all at once but you got to not do everything all at once. So you have to do little piecemeal pieces, uh, make sure your food, water, and all those basic things are taken care of, and then you can start pushing into these other industries. So our knitting workshop, we were just talking about baskets, we got the tech, let's get that queued up and start increasing our carry weights. It's gonna take a little bit of reed, but uh, we get four baskets out of eight reeds, that's a pretty good return, and we have 198 stocked up. Jennifer, getting to work, getting our baskets going. That'll be a very nice addition to have around the town here. And once we get some more immigrants, we can go ahead and, and throw those workers in there and really kick that into uh, the next gear. We'll have we'll have to absolutely add another worker to this reed field. Probably have to add a couple more reed fields in general. And we'll just keep ramping that production up. And then we'll be looking great for our carrying capacities. And uh, everybody will be great on our logistics. As long as we have enough space in our storage yards. Taking a quick look. Well, these look pretty cool. But that's got 42%. This one's 27 19 uh, this one's pretty full 98 100 yeah so we got a couple of wiggle rooms in a couple of little spots but it's something that we're gonna need to keep track of a little bit more now that we are stocking this much food hmm, maybe we want to kick out a couple of these farmers for now and we'll put them to use somewhere else since we do have a couple other variations of food going on we got pastures going on here we do have the hunter's hut going on we need to have enough food of course but I think I'm kind of overdoing it right now. Let's just take another check here at our graph and let's see if this has changed. Yes, it has. Okay, so as you can see, we're making almost twice as much food as we're consuming. In my opinion, we're kind of wasting our labors at that point. So we're definitely gonna kick a couple of these farmers out once they're done harvesting the fields and uh, we will uh, move them to something else. But before we do that, let's see if there's anything else we can really utilize in the fields. Some more flax might be good. Let's see what we're looking at. We're doing okay with flax for right now. So I think we'll just go ahead, we'll turn off the standard farm and we can utilize these people somewhere else. So I think what we're gonna do, let's shift some of those people, let's put them into the sawmill here and we'll get a little bit more domestic fuel going on. I will get Douglas in there. And another thing that I wanted to point out, we started with the school in the last episode here and we have nine students in there, but we got lots of kids going to school, learning their stuff, getting better, more efficient workers. So that is happening in the background here. So that's, it's good, but it's slow on our labor. So that's why we're really low on laborers right now. Uh, but it's working how we want it to work. Looks like we got immigrants on the timeline. So things are looking up for us. We have new people on the way. We're gonna need to build some of these homes. But before we do that, the school and part of the new patches is adding textbooks to the school. So we come with the warm fire book already uh, in our inventory here. A book that teaches the secrets of keeping a fire. It can be used as a textbook in the primary school. After graduation, students have the possibility of gaining extra abilities. So maximum warmth of plus 5% requires the book. 
and basic consumption of paper. So I think what this is gonna say is we can put the book in here, but in order to use it, we need to use paper. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. We don't have the paper used for studying, so we can't do anything with that right now. We'll just hold up, we got it in there, it's looking great. Things are piecing together quite nicely. And uh, let's get some of these houses built up. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll activate these. We'll get the three going. We should have plenty of materials for that. We might need a couple more builders. We'll throw one more person as a builder and we'll get that going. All right, got enough food to last for the winter, easy peasy. And I think I'll bring it back when we get some immigrants and we can continue to carry on new industry stuff. All right, our immigrants are nearly here. Let me show you what we've been doing in the meantime. So we got a bunch of our houses built up and I got a couple more planned in this little area. We threw in a second forest farm over here and then a third one right in here. Kind of doing what I was talking about before, starting this little area being a forest farmy area. And then we did throw in another paper mill over in here and we're waiting on 70 planks. So in order to get those planks, we put in a sawmill and we're just kind of waiting on another worker to get this thing really going up. We got three laborers right now, but I'm not going to just go ahead and dump them in everywhere else. Uh, so we're just going to hold up for now. Uh, the cap on that is going to be 100. Uh, we don't need more than 100 for right now. So that's what we're going to go for. Also, very, very important, awesome, amazing piece is the crematorium has been completed. Let's go ahead and get a little, little check out this thing. Uh, it looks awesome. I'm very, very happy that they added this in again. Uh, super, super awesome building. So we do have our cemetery over in here. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to still utilize it while we have the crematorium. Oh, but I know how to do a little check. If we go over in here, say policy, we did unlock another policy for our citizens. Uh, oh, looks like we got um, a couple of them here. We have the education policy. The town will not focus on any educational direction. So there's no effects here. We have science and technology. Uh, the effect is the probability of citizens gaining additional abilities through learning textbooks increases by 20%. And then citizens earn school by 20% longer. Hmm, that's a little rough there, but okay. And then we have value physical education. Citizens max stamina is increased by 5%. The probability of citizens gaining additional abilities through textbooks decreases by 30%. Oof. So yeah, those are both pretty steep. Um, I think for now, let's just leave this at no intervention. Maybe down the road, once we have a little bit more labors, we can uh, go ahead and make them stay in school a little bit longer. But for now, we're going to leave it like that. Burial policy. That's another new one. Inhumation. Ashes to ashes. Dust to dust. Inhumation will be adopted in the town. Effects. The dead will be buried in the cemetery. Uh, oh, we have the river burial. That's interesting. Uh, citizens get sick because of water pollution. Now, see, that seems unnecessary. And then we have the cremation, of course. Uh, citizens need the crematorium to cremate the dead. We're going to do that one. It's, uh, it's the right choice. Super, super easy to do. We got it going on. Let's go ahead and utilize the thing. And then, one of my favorite parts of the game, destroying the cemetery. Get that thing out of here. And we got immigrants even. So we're looking great now. We got 16 laborers. Oh, look at this. Our food is in the red now. And now that we have more people, we should probably go ahead and turn that thing back on. We'll go ahead and start working on uh, making sure we got enough food again. Looks like water's still looking good. Our timber's looking all right, but we're probably going to need a little bit more of that. Since we're going to start to utilize the crematorium, that's going to take domestic fuels. We did build a couple more houses, so the demand is going to increase. But we'll see what happens here now that we added the two more uh, forest farms that we got going on right now. Uh, we have the 13 laborers, so what we could do is, of course, do our gather all. I haven't done this in a couple uh, couple whiles here, so let's go ahead and get this thing marked up. We'll do a whole bunch of gathering, and we'll really clear this little area out with these trees uh, with the 13 laborers that we have right now. Super awesome. Get those things gathered up and as well down over in here i did throw in a couple storage yards uh, i figured because we'll have all the trees coming over in here and then uh, the sawmill will take them and then the planks can go over there and it's kind of a thing all right in this area is kind of what my thought was so that's why we put those there let's take a look at our reeds it's looking like we're gonna need another reed field we knew that was gonna happen so we'll go ahead and we'll plop that there and then we have our paper mill going on so we're gonna need either timber or reeds for this guy and i think we're gonna focus on just the reed part of this just because timber is used in so many other places right now let's just go ahead and we'll focus on reeds all right those are the uh, updates that we got going on here so we do have our technologies that we can learn let's go ahead and check these out let's go ahead and we'll be prepared for the paper let's get the education efficiency learned get that thing going on uh, and then books, 
That could be cool, but look at this. We need the mining calcining kiln in order to unlock the brick. So if we go to our mining little area, let's go ahead and we'll get refined fuel. We need to have lots of timber to fuel the fuel and uh, get the calcining kin going. So we'll go ahead, we'll learn the refined fuel first. And we'll get a couple of those things built up too. There's our fuel factory right in there. Hey, and look at this, this will work fantastically right. We'll get that going on. And we only have the one sandpit for now. We're just bringing in some clay. Let's get started with a little bit of sand as well. So we'll get that guy going on and that'll probably be most of our workers for right now. So we'll see what we got going on after all that. We might need to throw in an extra farm or two here, but we'll see um, what our food looks like after a little while here. Oh, it looks like we got all of the trees and whatnot cleaned up around. It looks great. Well, it's barren, but you know, it, it looks good. We got our timber uh, working on for us and we're just waiting to see these uh, other forest farms mature. So it's 62% and then 57% on the uh, two forest farms there. And then our old one is at 78. So we, we got to kind of get a whole bunch of these and then we can continuously uh, get things gathered up. If we really paid attention, we could stagger them and always have some trees really going. But I don't think that's super necessary to do, especially when we're supplemented by the forester's hut that are right over in here. And then, of course, we can just chop down trees like we did before. And these guys are building that little dense area, just like I was hoping that they would do. And that is, of course, helping out our little gatherer's hut here because it's got more stuff to gather up. So we got these two things working great exactly how we want. I'm very happy about that situation. And look at our health, too. I just noticed this 87% just because we put our bathhouse down here. Super, super good. Glad that we get that going on. A soap workshop would be nice, too. What is that even going to entail? So if we click on this guy, we're going to need some brick. Okay, so there's the tricksy part. But let's go ahead. We'll get our soap workshop selected, and let's get the building going on. And we can tuck it over in here just fine. So that's what we'll do. We'll get the soap workshop working right there. And our fuel factory is going. So let's crank this down to 100 uh, just for now. Got some timber going on there and some refined fuels. Looks like we have the options for timber, coal, or straw again. Um, we don't have any coal, so timber it is. Looks like the sand pit is looking for some regular old stone. So we know we have some down over in this little area uh, over in here somewhere. Here it is. But we can't quite get that right now. I want to hold up because it is in the middle of December before we go over there again because of the, the cold. We don't want people to be freezing to death out here. Uh, right now we have our smithy and our tailor. So we have our smithy set to 150 on iron tools. It's working out pretty great. We're at cap, that's perfect. And then the tailor is sitting at 200, also at cap. So also perfect. So we're looking great on those two fronts. It's the, uh, yeah, it's the stone and the iron that's really hurting us. We got 37 baskets. Awesome, helping our people run around here. Oh, speaking of which, let's go to logistics and get that packet expansion. Further helping our logistics, increasing carrying capacity by 80. So everything's looking good here. So if we go over in here, we have our fertility rate 100% right now. So something to keep in mind as you're going along here, you are going to be eventually fighting the stress of the people. So right now we're pretty early in the game. It's pretty small. Our fertility rate is 100%. So the more stress that the town is experiencing, the lower the fertility rate is going to be. And one way to combat that is we have the small stone statues here. We've got a couple other little things. We've got the small, medium and uh, the large one. So these are uh, great for that. They only reduce the stress by 5%. So it's not a huge deal, but it's definitely better than nothing. So the things that can contribute to reducing your stress level, your houses are going to start with a base of minus 5% on the stress levels. You can get upgrades such as the puppy or the kitten, and that will further help reduce your stress levels. So a couple of things uh, to keep in mind there as you go along and you're building your town. So we need the stone, so let's not worry about building that stone statue just yet, but I would like to. Let's grab our gather rocks so we can get some of these guys picked up. We have the 11 laborers right now. Let's utilize them, get that stuff gathered up, picked up. I think we have most of this stuff over in here done. We'll grab that little batch, we'll grab this batch, and there's some right in here. Let's go ahead and we'll grab those guys as well. So a couple things marked up, lots of stone, lots of iron, and we should be looking great once we get all of that gathered up. Okay, so we are still waiting on, oh, some planks because we need to put a worker in there, silly. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll do that. And these guys are looking okay. Yep, we got enough of our fuels, that's awesome. Oh, it looks like water is taking a slip. So we'll go ahead and we'll put one more worker in big well, get that working for us. 
what else we got going on here the masonry workshop is stopped because it doesn't have any stone makes sense let's check a look at our school real quick we only have one student enrolled right now uh we have no paper obviously because we don't have our paper mill yet but we're still working on that we should have that pretty soon here a sand pit is good to go we want to set this to sand of course so now we have one sand one clay pit going pretty good with that stuff fuel factories at 100 let's bump this up to 150 get a little bit more stock going and then we're gonna get our next point we'll get a calcining kiln and we'll get that operation going on as well so one thing that i think i want to do is i want to move the hunter's hut here it, it's in a fine spot but i think we're just gonna tuck it up over in here and then we can utilize this area a little bit more i think a little bit more better so we'll leave this one here for now and then once this guy's good to go we'll go ahead and we'll delete this one and then we'll, we'll be over in here so these guys don't have a range so this should work just fine for us we almost have our next tech point and then we can go ahead and get the calcining kiln that'll be great and we're looking for some bricks so yeah this is exactly where it should be because we don't have the bricks yet obviously we're working on that immigrants are about halfway here so what's the scoop with our planks what giovanni what are you doing over in here guy so we have 25 planks created this year oh, where did they end up they must have been used for something else but that's fine so we're at 100 planks let's go ahead we'll get another worker in here for uh, giovanni a little bit of uh, extra help and let's take another look at our food graph here so here we are so now we're not even close with creating enough food compared to what we're consuming so we need to get back on that we do have the extra farm back up and running um, but we might want to add a couple more another thing to consider here is it looks like we did intrude a little bit on our radius for our marketplace here so this farm right here is inside the zone where we could be building housing uh, for right now that's not a huge deal but it's something that we're going to have to move at, at some point here and i think what we're going to do i do like the pastures and i was going to kind of thinking about running pastures all the way down over in here but i think we're going to go ahead let's just get another standard farm going on and we'll plop this guy about right in here you know let's just let's just lay them out we'll do three i don't think we're going to utilize all of those yet but this should be no big deal to get this thing started up and uh, we can maybe even do a pasture over on this side to fill in this space uh, we do have the option of a compost plant as well it's something that i neglected to even mention uh, we got that when we went over in here we went to our agriculture and then we got compost so that was that first tech and then we went down to farming efficiency so compost is what this guy does provides a 50 percent production buff for agriculture structures within the range building in scenic areas can decrease town attractiveness oh so that's another element that we need to consider now i guess so what we could do to utilize this so this is already getting built up of course uh, but we could plop this guy right here so let's cancel that let's do a compost plant and this isn't the best use of our space but i think it'll be beneficial so we'll go ahead we'll plop that guy there it covers most of these things so we'll get this little guy going on and we can do a warehouse or something right in here let's let's go ahead and do that right now we'll do a little storage yard fits in there quite nicely and we can do one more right there a couple little spots for extra storage can't hurt us okay and then we got two workers here let's go ahead and we will go ahead for beans peas get a little bit more of that action happening since these are the highest yielding food that we have right now we want to take advantage of that for sure paper mill is still coming along we only need a couple more planks but i think this is going to be a good spot to call the episode thanks for coming in and hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this episode of settlement survival and have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening day or night and i'll talk to you again soon